What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. What's up? Welcome to a new episode of Swipe Up, Swipe Up 27, where I share my favorite post from Instagram. Let's get it started with an animation from this guy that does these animations for UFC fights. They're comedic. They're hilarious. There's a twinge of Lost in Translation a bit, but I enjoy them, and I uh, wanted to share this one uh, featuring Anthony Pettis and uh, Steve Wonderboy Thompson. Let's get into it. I expect some straight-up ninja stuff from this guy. You know, disappearing, reappearing somewhere else, you know what I mean? Karate chops. This is for the ninja belt. <laughs> it's a game, baby. You know how to play the game. This is Coach Rufus says he's got my number, so I want to see what he's got. for showtime. All right, I'm coming back. <laughs> oh, oh man, that was wacky. Uh, so this next one, Eddie Bravo shares this uh, sub- subtle pepper. He's this kid who's a jujitsu phenom, I guess. Uh, but this is crazy uh, back and forth in a tournament uh, posted by Eddie Bravo, 10th Planet. All kids should be in jiu-jitsu. I don't understand this. Or some martial art, but for sure, like, why not jiu-jitsu? It's going to be... It makes way more sense than, like, kung fu or some shit. Ooh, arm triangle. Got him. So good. All right, this next one from the La Quinta Museum. This is a view where I live. This is where I live for back in the 1930s. This is what it looked like. Now it's like full of houses. It's a big residential area. But this whole like it's just crazy. Like I don't understand the people. I would be so mad if somebody moved like right next door to me. Like some of these houses are really close to each other. Like those two. Like there's a bunch right there. It's like being in an empty movie theater and some some asshole sits right next to you, right behind you, right in front of you. But it's like, dude, spread out. We got all this room, right? It's the 1930s. Give me some room here, okay? We just got through the Depression. That's just crazy. Uh, So moving on to an artist that I used to work with uh, doing shows at the Ray at Night in San Diego, which I don't know if, if it's still a thing or not on Ray Street, North Park, uh, but Velazos, uh, he did these uh, wood prints, of does sells these wood prints all over, doing different shows, um, inspired me to do wood prints of my Photoshop work that I sold. Uh, when I did the shows, I sold wood prints, I sold uh, actual, my original paintings, and I also sold 40 sacks. Um, that was, it was like a really cool experience, you know, he was, Pretty much there every week. He's the only person that I really met and, uh, you know, never hung out or anything like that. But he's like kind of the only uh, co-worker. He quit his job work. I forget what he did, but he was like he hated his job and he quit it. And he was just like figuring it out a way to doing these shows, grinding it out. Really cool dude. And uh, just he makes it looks like his his wood print game has gone gone up. I mean, he's been doing it consistently since i mean was like 2014 when i stopped doing ray at night 2015 i can't even remember when i it was like maybe a year or so before i moved to denver two years before um all right let's finish it out with some some people speaking of quitting your job uh maybe you're in a toxic business relationship 
Let's. Uh, I wanted to share this this clip from Gary V. Obviously, kind of encouraging, uh, cutting the cord, as it were, being untethered. <laughs> don't don't let your job keep you in a, a tunnel underneath the Earth's crust. Get out. Learn English. It's okay. Learn. You can learn any language. Maybe not English. Learn any language. Just move away from grunting. Uh, but yeah, here's this one. This clip from Gary V. <laughs> Many more people should be leaving their jobs. A lot of people are like, oh, I've been at this job for seven years. If I leave now, I've given it all up. I'm wasting time. I'm wasting everything. You're not wasting it. Staying in a cancer-filled environment is wasting time. When it's a dead end, it's a dead end. You staying longer doesn't change it being a dead end. You leaving and starting over with the experiences and things you've learned is being on the offense, not giving up. So many people are in these abusive business relationships where they don't want to leave because they think they've given up all the time they put in. That's like abusive. That's the framework of the abusive nature of it. You need to fucking leave. It was one fucking word to your question. Boom. Leave your job. Fuck your job, man. They suck. Uh, working for other people. They don't give a fuck about you. They just want to, they want to pay you as little as possible. That's their goal. What is the least amount of money that I can have going out of my business to get the work done? Um, but anyway, let's do some shout outs. Shout out to, forgive me, uh, I'm going to try and do this. Uh, Moha, Moha, Moha Head uh, Fudalat, the dude that does the uh, animations. Uh, Eddie Bravo, 10P, Subtle Pepper, La Quinta Museum, Velazos. And Gary V, shout out to all of you. Thank you for uh, being an inspiration and being part of this week's episode of Shout Out, where I share my favorite post from Instagram. And what you can do as a listener or a viewer of this show, um, you can check out every episode. They come out every day. Uh, make sure you subscribe everywhere podcasts are found, especially IGTV, Instagram. Check me out there real quick. Less than 10 minutes, obviously, per episode. Bam. Eat it up. If you want to binge the full week in advance, you can do that by being a member over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. Inspireddisorder.com for all of my work, my original artwork and podcasts. At Ray Taylor for me on all social media. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out.